Hey guys, it's Georgia. I thought that I would put together some cornbread to let it be drying out for a couple of days for my dressing, and I thought I'd show you how I do it. Uh, what you're going to need is um, four cups of meal, four cups of flour. This all self rising. Uh, I use the spray oil. You're going to need one egg, one cup of buttermilk, six cups of water, and uh, something real big to mix it up in. And then uh, I've got one of these baking pans. I've already sprayed it with the oil. I've got my oven preheating. And uh, I'll bake it in this, and then I'll spread it on a big old cookie sheet or something to dry out and then I'll make it in this so I don't turn my pan up. Alright, let's get this show on the road right fast and I'll show you what I do. Let's get us uh, four cups of meal in here first. Oh, and, and something big to this big old eight cup measuring whoa measuring cup. It's from Pampered Chef. It's called a batter bowl. I absolutely love. They're they're just beyond handy. Um. Well, once upon a time I was capable of measuring. Now let me see where I'm at there. A little bit more, not much. Alright, that is four cups of meal. Now let's get four cups of flour in there. Now let's see. Shake that around and see what we got there. Basically, absolutely perfect with that. So. this over in the next. I don't like the flare on the bottom, so let me do it this way. Well, I I guess I'm just going to have to suck it up buttercup, ain't I? Now let me get me uh, six cups of water here. Uh, mm, I might be short a cup. I better add some to it because it needs it every bit. Alright. And uh, I thought I'd put warm water back stem, but I didn't. I spilled it all over the kitchen. It don't matter. I got it in there. I might put a dab too much water. I thought I had it right, but. It's not like a big giant issue because it's not the cornbread that I make for the table anyway because uh, it's getting so much stuff added to it. You know, the onions and the celery and the sage and the giblets, the kidney and this and that and other thing that um, I have made it with just water in it, flour meal and water and not thought nothing of it. And that's what I believe might be happening this time. Because I'm pretty sure that's enough batter. Yeah. 
and get it mixed up here. Yeah, that's what I done. I added a cup too much because it is absolutely the perfect consistency if I had added my cup of buttermilk. I'm going to add a little bit of buttermilk. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to put, ah, eh, that was probably half a cup or three quarter. And I am going to put my egg in it and it'll just, it'll be thinner. So it, what it'll do is it'll take it a little longer to bake. I've got my oven on 350 and, uh, that's all it'll do. It'll take it a little longer to bake. And I do want it to, uh, uh, bake till it's, um, real dry. And then even as dry as it gets baking, when it comes out, like I said, I will crumble it. I don't know if that egg broke or not. I'm not think it did. I think it just now broke. It did. <laughs> that would have been something if I'd baked that, that big egg yolk in there, wouldn't it? That would have been mighty disappointing. All right. Um, I forgot what to say. I tell you what. You have to keep an eye on me, honey. Look <laughs> there, <I> do. <laughs> God. All right, that's a looking pretty good. It's a little thin. Oh, I'll bake it till it gets real as dry as it possibly can without, you know, without ruining it. Now, when I say ruining it, I mean uh, just getting uh, uh, dry till it's uh, too hard and stuff, and can't do nothing with it. I don't want it like that. And let's pour it in this pan. Get it in that oven. I do not know how long it has to bake. Like I said, I just, uh, it'll probably be brown on top, I'm sure. And uh, that's fine and dandy. Sometimes if it's, if I don't, I never thought to take a rack out of my oven so I'd have a cool rack bag and have it. I'll pull one out and let it cool so that I can set this bread when it comes out on that rack over the sink or somewhere so it can have air flow around it. And uh, because if it cools in this pan, it gets soggy and I don't want it that way. I want it dry out good, but not rock hard. And then I will crumble it and I will uh, stash it up to uh, Make my dressing out of here, out out here in, I'll probably about two days. All right, let me get that in the oven. And hope that pan don't fall apart. Boy, that'd be bad. No, it's fine. And she is in the oven. On 350 to bake till till you know for a fact it's done in the middle now. I mean you it's this it's got to be done. That's a big old pan of bread. But I know how much I'm making, see. Every how much was in that pan is how much I'm making, and that's enough for everybody. Alright, thank you. And I'll uh, be back when it's time to crumble it. Thank you. Hey guys, I've been outside at colder wheels out there. <laughs> Uh, let's get this cornbread out of the oven and check it out and see what it looks like. Um, let me, uh, grab something to get it out with. I've got everything in the world, but when I need it, duh. Let me see here. This one's damp from drying dishes. I hope I don't get burned up filling with the wet one. But. Hopefully it'll be all right. I'm always afraid to get burned up. And I keep one of these burners on fire all the time. <laughs> all right, let's look. Oh, Lord, my glasses are fogging up where I was outside. Oh, the bread looks beautiful. Let's see. Look at that. 
Ain't that pretty? Let's see if it, yeah, it feels done. Let's see. Yeah, man. Just what we wanted. And now I've got a, I got me an oven rack out and got it laying over here on top of the sink. And I'm going to take my pan of bread and dump it out on top of it. and Because I don't want to cool this pan because it'll get, the body, bottom will get soggy. And then, uh, I done got a fuzzball on the bread. I put a towel. I was a drying a butcher knife off a while ago and it was so sharp that it you could probably shave with it. And I didn't think nothing of it. Why I was a shaving my towel every time I'd a wipe that butch stuff across and I was cutting it all to pieces. Now it's losing little fuzz balls. Anywho, um, I'm going to dump my bread out so it don't get, don't cool in this pan because it will uh, get moist and I don't want that. And then I'm going to crumble it up and put it on a big old couple of bread pan cookie sheet, what cookie sheets that I've got here. And I'll just put it up and let it dry out for a couple of days and then we will come back and put ourselves together some um homemade cornbread dressing all right thank you there's my cornbread on the i put my oven rack out here and i've got it boy ain't it pretty as it can be and i've got it out here uh cooling so that i can uh put it up and uh it did not stick, not even one little bit, to that pan. So, uh, I'll let you guys off here, and then in a couple of days, when it's ready, we will uh, start putting that dressing together. Thank you. Okay, guys, my bread is, I'm, cr I'm in the process of crumbling it. I've got a little under half left, and you see how I'm doing it. I don't like mine crumbled within an inch of its life. I don't I don't like it like that. Most people do, but now I don't. Because when I add my everything to it when I'm actually putting it together as dressing, I like for you to be able to get a bite every now and then. So um, I'll fill up that other little pan with this other piece and then I'm going to set it up for a couple of days. Thank you all. Good morning, guys. I, I've been outside and cold out there and I'm still froze to death and I'm going back out here in a minute so um I started this uh dressing making two days ago I had my um I baked all my bread that I'm gonna need and I've got it it's I had two days to dry out good and it's it's just right it's just like I want it and it was this pan full is how much I baked and here's the rest of it and I'm getting ready to uh, and this is some um, liver and gizzard and whatnot I saved from uh, that rotisserie chicken because I know you know Thanksgiving is coming up and I like a little extra and uh, my daughter's baking the turkey in another county and a lot of times if we're gonna have dinner somewhere else I'll put everything together and then when I get there, I get the stock. They know to keep it if they won't dress it. And they won't dress it. Uh, but plenty of times over the years, I've bought spare turkey legs, make the dressing ahead of time, and freeze it because working and stuff, you know, there's just one of you. Um, and plenty of times, I have cooked a chicken and used that broth. Nobody knows the difference unless you tell them. I ain't telling them nothing. You all don't either. <laughs> don't tell on me. Anywho, I went, I found this. I didn't know there was no such a thing as turkey stock. And I got me two of them. And I'm going to use that. And I will use the chicken stock if I even need it. And I might not. Uh, but I want the liver and gizzard and all that stuff out of this chicken here too to add to this. Now, what you're going to need to make the dressing that I make is your bread. It needs to be dried out for a couple of days. Um, 
I usually put four or five pieces toast, you know, and I'll probably go ahead and toast the toast because toast gets hard real quick, you know, in a day I can just add it. Later, I forgot it. I've been doing so much uh, other recipes. I about slipped up bad. Give me myself a whooping. Anyway, you're going to need celery. And you're going to need onions. And this is just a cornbread dressing that I've been making. Um, I made my first when I was 16 years old. And I've just, I considered improvements on it over the years. You all might not like it. I may not even want food with it. But, but my family loves it. And it's how my mother made it. And everybody else in the family have a, a little variation of the exact same one. And you're going to need your liver and gizzards and whatnot. And I, a lot of times, because we have a few like my boy, uh, the, the dressing is really the only thing he cares about out of the whole shebang. I'll usually add... A bunch of meat to it to make it heartier and it is good oh you can have it put it up and it freezes the best portion it out and put it up and make more than you're good than you know you're gonna need put it in glad bags it's the best stuff in the world take for lunch for work especially if it's got the meat in it so it makes it a whole meal you are going to need sage I just get the rubbed uh, no this ground sage uh, I get whichever one I can get my hands on that day. But I prefer the ground, or I prefer the rubbed. Uh, and I couldn't get it. I was lucky to get that, but it hit sold out. I mean, boom, it was gone. You're going to need salt and pepper. And you turkey stock, chicken stock, you know, and I'm assuming you'll have it fresh. But if you don't, go cook you a chicken or get you some of that. And uh, I think I think that's it. If there's something else I'm going to need, I'll, I'll, of course, I'll let you in the snow. But I'm going to get up here and get my chicken to cooking and cut up my celery and my onions and uh, get my little gizzard and liver and stuff in there with that chicken to cooking. And we will be back. I'm going to get that going and get back outside. It It's cold. And it's the prettiest, no, it ain't pretty, sun ain't come up yet, but it's uh, a beautiful, beautiful morning. I love, love mornings. I love outside, and I've not had coffee yet, and that's where I'm going. Thank y'all for bearing with me. I want to show y'all guys real fast. I've got my, uh, ooh, need to turn her down, get ready to boil over, get down in there. I've got my chicken on to boil. And I've only got the water up to about right there, bottom of that handle, just where it's boiling. And I put my butter on top of it, and I've salted and peppered that butter good. And I've got that spare liver and gizzard and whatnot down in there. And uh, I want it to slow down now that it's come to a boil. It has. It's slowed down now. I don't want it to overflow all over my stove. And I want that stock to be real concentrated, so that's why I don't have my kittle full. I'd rather have a half kittle of really good tasty stock than a big kittle full of greasy water, which is what with what a lot of people do. You know, you need to do it based on what size bird you're cooking there. And mine's just four and a half pounds, so I just want real good stock. Well, let's go outside a while, guys. Come on. Thank you. Hey guys, let's get back in on this um, cornbread dressing. Uh, I've got my, and this is hours like This is dark 30. I started out this morning before breakfast, and I had a lot of stuff come up uh, that uh, was unexpected. But it's because I forgot it. I was supposed to go to the dentist with my daughter, and I done that. And then I had a doctor's appointment. Just check up. I done that. And uh, now here it is. Uh, but it's all right. Uh, I want to show you my chicken. That's good though, because it have a chance to cool. There's my chicken and my stock. Pretty, ain't it? And I'm going to take that chicken off the bone. I'm going to measure my stock out of a whole um, thing of a 
celery, this little dab is all I could say, but I've never seen celery be bad like that. I want you to look. And uh, that ain't, that's not including what went in the trash. I just got tired of walking to the trash bag and started throwing it there on the stove. Uh, but anyhow, and Gina, look at this. This is first, it ain't even a trial run, honey. This is the run. This is what's getting ready to happen. See, I put the big in it, and I'm going to run my onions through it right now. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. I'm a dying. I've not done it. I've not yet. Whoa, I'm about to flip y'all up on your heads. Sometimes I can't do a thing with this camera, and this is obviously going to be one of them times. Wait, let me try to get it. Right, okay, okay that, got it. that worked out pretty good. Uh, I've been dying, dying dead to use it. But I wanted to use it on uh, this uh, holiday stuff. Alright, and I cut my onions in half. And now, cross your eyes, everybody. It's not as hard as it looks. I'm afraid of breaking it. Well, I believe that that part right there is my own fault because it is. Because my onions have set out all day. Right here where you see them at. So, this part has just dried out. I've got more onions, but now I don't have no more celery, honey. What you see is what I got. And that's what I'm going to use, too. Whoa. It didn't break. But it put that onion through there. That was loud. Let's see what we got there. Oh, look at that. Just right, and I wanted the bigger pieces. Not, nothing real big, but that's kind of what I like in my dressing. Yum, that smells so good. Now, you learn by doing, so I feel like I need to move a little faster and it'll do better. So, let's see. Yep, it's loud, though. Uh, my husband's going to come out there and kill me. But it'll be caught on film if he does. Um, so I'm going to be easy with the onions. I'll get back to them. I'm going to go ahead and chop celery. And uh, I just want to show y'all what was happening. I am going to uh, take this chicken off the bone because I want it for my dressing. And then uh, I'm going to, I know that's not enough stock. But boy, it's some nice stock. But I'm going to add this one, at least one of these turkey stocks to it. And, let, and mix it up good, and then uh, I'll see where I'm at. But I'm going to try my best to measure everything as exact as I can now uh, as I go along, because now dressing is a matter of uh, adding and tasting, adding and tasting. So, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. You know, you might not like mine at all, because I tell you what, now I love sage, and I kind of probably like too much of it, but hey, it's whatever you like, you know. I like a lot of salt, but now I don't put much salt in my dressing because uh, I like to let that sage shine. It requires some pepper, but not not no big giant much. All right, I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna debone this chicken. I'm gonna chop up uh, celery. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff together here so we can get this dressing together tonight. Cause Lordy mercy, I got a lot of stuff today. All right, thank you. I thought I'd show you how I cut up this uh, celery for the ones who's never made dressing before and don't don't necessarily know how. Um, if it's wide, see, I split it. And that's short, and I didn't cut it out. I usually cut it completely, but I don't want it real big. I don't want it invisible. That's one I didn't peel very good with that. So you find out if it ain't been peeled good real quick but anywho that's what I do I don't want it real big and I don't want it uh, invisible either and after you make it a time or two or if you've already eaten like your mom's or whatever and you like to have it done and uh, there you go but uh, I've only got two more to go because buddy I didn't have much to work with but I hope it's enough if it 
not, I can always add some, you know, to the finished product tomorrow or whatever. But this is the worst celery I've ever seen in my life. When you shop late, that's what you get. Must have just got banged up being on the bottom or something and it damaged it. Because I sure had to throw the biggest part of it away. And I'm trying my best not to have to get any more off here because then it gets it just gets real tough and and bad god but i saved it because uh i might have to but i don't think so i think this is going to be enough and like i said if it's not i may i've got to go to town tomorrow i may have to pick up another one i hate to pick up another one just for a little dab but gotta do what you gotta do but anyhow let's get this done and then uh I'm almost done. I'm not going to hold you. And look at that. Uh-oh. There won't be none when I throw it in the floor. But uh, there's a big old rough piece I had to take out to throw away. But there's probably a... Uh, I know there's a cup there. And let's cross our eyes. Because I'm not making too awful much. All right. I'll be back. Thank you. Hey, guys. I just turned my stuff back on. I put one of them... Uh, turkey uh it's not broth stocks in it and i've got it heating up and i don't want it to get scalding because i want to be able to work in my bread i cut up the rest of my celery and the amount of onion i think i'm gonna need and i took my chicken out and i took all the bones out of it except for this one little piece of the leg here and i'm gonna wait and see if i need it and uh the both bread breasts are right here I try not to use white meat because the dark meat's where every bit of the flavor's at, and that's what I want in my dressing. So it's uh, I got a big old pile of the dark meat here, and then here's my this that and other thing that goes that come out of the chicken. So I am going to start rough chopping it. No particular way, because now you want it cooked or it's just it literally falling off the bone tender and that's how it was because uh, and I might not need all this I'll use what I need anything else will make a chicken salad sandwich and uh, it's called how much I need now I don't know yet because I've not I'm waiting for my broth to heat up so it'll uh, help uh, with the uh, I started to do it cold, but I wanted to do it hot because I wanted to break down that real uh, hard bread because now I don't uh, make mine real fine into breadcrumbs like most people do. So mine needs some help, but it'll still have some body to it when you, you know, every now and then you're just going to get a good bite of that bread with that, uh, that crust, you know, with that sage on it and that and that broth on it my goodness and then the onions and the celery and all that all right that looks really good <coughs> excuse me and that's all i'm going to do to that and then i'm going to chop these up because they go in there too and i always chop this real fine so that it can spread throughout it because this is massive flavor right here and i don't want to waste a very bad of it because there ain't enough of it as it is especially when you're working with the uh, uh, chicken meat instead of the turkey turkey would be bigger but this what I got and I want to just get my dressing done and get it frozen and then well I don't know if I'll freeze it or not because this Tuesday night and we need it Thursday I don't know I may freeze part of it and then it'd be a lot easier to handle i don't know yet i don't think it's going to spoil in the refrigerator that's fact because uh man there's look that's just straight up tender uh pure lean meat um well i've eaten dressing 
seven or eight days later if there was any left. That's got a bone in it. What is that part of the neck? Why, well, yeah. Shh. Well, let's get rid of that. Man, oh man, I'm glad I... Nope, ain't no more of that in there. Ain't fooling with that. That left some good flavor behind my brow, but I ain't a fooling with trying to pick meat off of a turkey neck, much less a chicken neck. Ain't no way. So, anywho, I didn't even get a liver. There was a, a neck, I guess, in the gizzard in the bag that I had left over from that rotisserie chicken. And I guess that's all I was in, because I had done through one neck away. And I guess that's all I was in this one, because this come out of, that, out of this chicken, not the other one. And I guess they put them liver into boxes of liver or... Or maybe dishes that require liver, or I don't know. But let's get that cut real fine, because that is, like I said, that is some major flavor right there. And believe it or not, it makes a difference. So, we got that cut up. Fine as proud hair. Alright then. And, uh, I don't want this to get too hot. Uh, that's hot enough. Right there. And I'm going to scoot it back. I don't want to heat any more. And uh, let me get this off a little bit. I don't want to have my phone. I'm sorry for putting you in zone hold like that. But uh, when this burner cools off, I'll be back because I'm going to have to work here because I ain't got enough countertop space. And I'll put this chicken breast and whatnot up a few things and get ready for us to start putting her together. Thank you all for your patience. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, it's cooled off enough I can set my thing on it now. And you can see I've got real big pieces. And I'm just going to tear them up a little bit so that I can uh, tell what I'm working with here. How hard it is. If there's something I need to just get out and throw away. Things like that. And uh, hold on a second. got to take care of my doggy right fast. Alright, guys, I'm back again. Uh, and I went ahead and you can see now this is perfect this way I like it so if you get a hold of a piece you know you get a you get a bite size and uh, I'm gonna well this this feels so good it feels just right it's crunchy where it needs to be and and uh, dried and softer it, even though it's dry you know it's softer where it needs to be and now let's get some more of this in here and tear it up right along with it Get my pan full. Get all of my tricks in there. Because when I get this part done, it'll come together. Well, I started to say it come together pretty quickly, but who knows? I might be staying there taste testing half the night. Because I tell you what, I need my boy here. He's the he's he's a good tester. Because he love, I love it too. Gosh, he loves it. Uh, Alright, I'm going to, and this is what i done. This is all i done. You know, I just picked it up and, and kind of tear it up. Or, and this here is not as dry as this first pan was. But it's okay. Oh yeah, it smells so good. And then some is real dry. But uh, that's all I'm doing. And then I get that hot broth in there, you know, and it'll break it down even farther. So, uh, and that's real hard. But that don't matter, you know, that broth do its job. Alright then, I am going to let you off here. No point in you sitting here through all this, and I'll be back. Thank you. Alrighty guys, I got, I got it all done, but just a little speck, and where it's not broke down, see my pan is plumb full. Now, this is the pan that I baked full, and this is the same bread, and I'm going to put it in my dish you <laughs> look where I banged up my dish pan uh, run over one of them and uh, I, don't, I don't know how I done that but anyhow I'm going to put it all down in here so that I can uh, stir it and mix it and do everything I need to do comfortably and then it will go back in this pan because it will fit 
fit back in there. It just came right now because it's all poofed up from being uh, uh, tore up and dried like that. Oh yeah, I can tell I'm doing a lot better now. Got a lot more room to work with. And then I just wanted to, to see what I was doing. I'm going to finish it up here because I got a little bit more left in this bread pan. Or in this big pan. Not much though. See, it's just a dab. And then I'm going to start measuring uh, uh, my broth and stuff. And well, I hate to whack it inside because there ain't no sense in it really. Because now this is long winded and it can't be helped, you know. If you don't show people it's never made it to how the correct way, there's no point showing them half of it. I'm preaching, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, now let's measure some broth. See what we got. today and I think they're just simply wonderful. This is two quarts right here. I think. Let's see what it says. Two and a half quarts to the top line inside the rim. Okay. Well, we'll do it that way. Let's measure our brow and see what we got. And then we'll see it out. That's what we'll do. I got a cup right here. So, um, hmm. Let's get the, so this, can hardly tell what I'm doing. That is one cup, and I'm going to pour it right over my breadcrumbs. This is two cups, and three cups, now let's hang it right there, look how handy dandy, I hung it on, right. let me get me a big old spoon here so I can tell what I'm doing. Now, that was three cups, and I got a feel of it, because it'll start absorbing that. I had a big old piece, I didn't get my cup. Alright. Now, let's start working on it some more. There is, that makes four cups. And five cups. We'll dip us right down in there just right to get get a cup full every time. All right, let's see. Yep, it's starting to loosen up. It ain't absorbed it all instantly that time. Don't get me wrong though, it's still plenty dry. All right, that's five cups, but it's coming light. And now. You have to kind of mess with it some to let it absorb and break down and because see here they're still see that's got real juice in it. I want all that to get in my bread. I don't want want it too too wet because ain't much coming back from that unless you bake more bread and put in it. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> that's all. Now Let's do a little meat measuring here and see what we got. Uh, this is really something you're just going to have to reach in there and do. All right. And I'm not going to pat it down or nothing now. I want it to be as true a measure as I can get. 
And if there's, there's one cup, I'll spread it out. Let me stir it. See, I'm doing it loosely because I don't want it. I don't, but it's full, and that is going to be two cups. I believe I'm going to put every bit of the meat in there, but I still want to how much I, how much I wound up with. and that's that's all the meat I'm not gonna put that little leg in there Bring that back over there. and now let's stir that up yeah that looks real good because you don't want it just you know full you want it to be uh, not a surprise just you don't want to be overwhelmed with any one thing all right let's I'll get together and pray over that celery because I tell you what, I'd sure like to get this done tonight. Now, let's measure the celery. I'm dropping it everywhere with me with none to spare of any kind. I can't believe it, but he eat that piece of celery when he hit the floor. I give him a big bunch of chicken while ago, so he probably just nabbed it real fast. <laughs> he got full, Debbie. All right, there's one cup. Yep, one cup. Let's spread it out. All right, let's see. That's not hardly enough, so let's get... I'm just going to measure it because I know I'm going to use every bit of this. But I still, you know, like I said, we want to know. All right. And that, my friends, is one and a half cups because that's what my measuring cup is. One and a half. No, it's not one and a half. It, it's actually about a cup. Because the cup line is just barely down there and the half, the, the half is still way up there. So we'll call it, we'll call it cup. Because that little dab don't amount to a hill of beans. I didn't stir in between, neither did I. Alright, let's get that mixed up. Mmm, it already, that celery smells the best. I do believe that that's going to be absolutely the perfect amount of celery. Because there's going to be a bite to every bite. So that's all you want. You don't want too much of anything. It's a looking mighty pretty good. All right then. Now let's start on them onions. Let's see. Oh, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me wipe my hand off. Dry it. Wet it or something here. Because them onions are in their own little measuring doofick. That's right. Won't have to measure them because I'm going to put them all in there. And I and I had said that thing was too loud, but it, it ain't too loud. It's the driver. Um, you see right there, it's two cups. So, let's get that in there. Two cups. Ooh, the onions smell the best. It all smells the best to me. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna break it, Jaina. Shh. You 
got me the best little thing there was there, and I, I'm roughing a cob. That's why I use iron and stuff. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, buddy. It's looking nice, too. There you go, Smoke. There's you some dressing I throwed in the floor. I could never... I, I could run a big, pretty kitchen real fast uh, uh, being messy. All right, now, we are going to... Uh, Now, I'm not measuring this salt. I ain't even going to try. I'm just going to throw some salt in there because I throw some salt in everything. And like I said earlier, I don't want a big, giant bunch of salt. But it needs a little dab of salt. I don't know if anything don't. I mean, you even put salt in candy. Sweet stuff. All right, so let's get a little dab of salt in there. It looks like a lot, but so far I ain't got a teaspoon. I'd say that worked out to be about a half a teaspoon. It wasn't no teaspoon. All right, so get that stirred up good. And I'm going to show it to you before I add the pepper to it so you can see how pretty it is. I even put my little, and I always have, I put the little uh, celery middle pretty flowery looking part in there all right look at this uh there we go ain't that pretty you you can see there's gonna be a bite of onion or and uh, celery in in every bite and it's coming together real nice so uh let's start getting that uh sage in there well now i'm gonna put a little pepper in first if i can find it there it is I'm not going to go crazy with the pepper either. But I'll, pr I'll put more pepper than I did salt, I'd say. I don't know. All right, let's see. Stir. And then... I'm going to let rest for a while and let that uh, broth break it down some more before I start trying to add the celery and stuff. I, it, it feels, it's starting to feel better, but it still, it needs a, it needs a little rest time. All right, I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm back. I feel like it probably needs a little bit more broth. So, uh, I, I'm going to measure it. I, I forgot how much we at so far. But here is another cup. Let's get it poured in there. Do a little stirring here. Yeah, it needs it bad. Feels better already. You can kind of tell from when you press on it if it's gonna just be crumbly, even though it's wet, well damp. You don't, you don't, you want it to be able to come together and stay together when you when you press on it. That kind of, you know, you kind of know where you at with your. Uh, dressing. I think it still needs a little bit more. I'm going to put the rest of this in there. Alright. That's a cut. You talk about lucky ducks. We are lucky ducks. Now, we got that in there. I'm going to drop this in the sink. I don't have anything else that requires a bucket or cup. Alright. I'll lick my finger. I'm not doing this big cooking, not getting me a little taste every now and then. Yeah, 
Ooh, yeah, man, that's what it needed. It needed them that other uh, the rest of that stock. Now, all right, guys, I'm back. I've got my dress is cleaned up, and I've let my dress and rest a while. And uh, I'm thinking it might need just a tad more stock. Let me uh, find something to get about with here. Well, I should have put the dishes away, but I didn't, so I can't find nothing. Let's see. It still feels just it ain't dry, it just is not, it don't feel like it's moist enough. Let's see. I don't know. That was before I let it rest a while. Yeah, let me rinse my fork off. Good. Don't even have to sage in it yet. Let me stir it up good and try another bite and see because I don't want to put it in if it don't really need it. Let's see. Nope, it don't need it. I'm glad I tried it first. All right. Let's get in on this uh, sage. And I'm going to show you what I was talking about with it maintaining some uh, shape. Now you can tell it's still, you know, it's not like got water floating or broth floating in it see but I can do that and it maintains a shape and here you can see what I'm talking about real good right there now that's what I'm talking about so yeah it's it's perfect. So let's, ouch. Oh, I've managed to pinch my finger somehow or another with that, the way I was holding that up spoon. Let's get our sage in here, start getting it in here. I'll loosen it up a little bit before I do, where I patted it down. Make it easier to stir it. And get everything distributed well. So, I'm going to try to, uh, I got you all sideways. I'm going to try my best to measure this. Let's see. That's a tablespoon. I'm going to try to. Well, that ain't open. I've got one open somewhere. Here it is. Yeah. Now let me start with the tablespoon. And then we may be in teaspoon mode by the time we're done. We've got our first tablespoon there. Let me. Try to get it in here. Yeah. 
That works a lot better. And here's what it looks like before it's stirred up. They're plenty green. See it there? And it smells good before it's fresh. Let's get it. Get it mixed in real good. I'll be able to follow my own recipe here in a year or two when I get completely crazy. <laughs> now, I'll joke to side of uh, my grandbabies will be able to make my dressing. And the kids, they've never had to make it, but they'll, they'll know how now. They know what goes in. I just don't think every one of them's ever made it. They've never had to. But now, you never know when you'll have to do something. And I know that's not enough sage. So I'm going to put in another batch before I taste of it. So, let's put in another tablespoon. is hard to, it kind of won't stick together like a powder. All right, we've got us another tablespoon. Let's get it in there. more stirring. And now I'm not going to add anything else to it yet. I'm just going to stir it real good. And then I'm going to let it rest for probably 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to taste of it again. And see if it needs any more. Or if it's okay. That two full tablespoons is a whole lot. So, But it needs to set a minute. You know. And do a little blending. And then... Uh, We'll be back and taste of it and see what we think again. Thank you. Okay, guys. I, let me show it to you. I came back and I tried a taste of it. And uh, my husband tried it. And we both felt like it needed some more sage. So I put another... No, I put a half a tablespoon in it. Uh, there's my tablespoon one and then I put a half a tablespoon in it and it seems to be just right and uh, I'm gonna put it in the fridge and wait till tomorrow and regroup because I've just tasted of it too much and my palate's had it. I, I can't I can't tell no work. 
<laughs> and uh, I'm ready for bed. It's almost what in the morning. Oh my gosh. And I'll still get up early. And even if I didn't want to. Uh, little Mr. Uh, Pushy Chevy there with the four fuzzy piles. Uh, that'll be up, honey, about 4.30 or 5. So, I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Thank you. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to come back and let you know I tried that dressing this morning, and it is so good. It's absolutely delicious. The only thing that I done to it was uh, I went ahead and added another cup of chopped chicken to it. If I'd have had turkey, you know, that's what would have went in. It would have wanted to make it ahead of time. And uh, this, uh, and the only thing I'll do now is... Uh, I'll bake a pan. We've got one or two that likes it baked and firmed up. And the rest of us like it just like it is because everything in it is already cooked when it's put together with the exception of the uh, celery and the onion. And uh, we like a little crunch in our dressing. And uh, Mommy never did cook that stuff. She, she left that like it was. And that's how we all learn, you know what I mean? But, uh... I want to tell you, I'll, uh, uh, Merry Christmas, and I appreciate everything that you guys say and do, and, uh, you make this dressing ahead of time. Now, I have, and I'm going to freeze it until I have to have it, and then I'll thaw it out the day before, and it freezes excellent. You, you can't tell it's ever been froze. If it done anything to it, make it taste better. Well, uh, thank you for everything that you all say and do and your comments. It tickles me to death. And and uh, to my whole big extended family, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Until next time.